Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing well. This reading is going to be about Brad Hargreaves, who was a friend of um, Missing Jay Slater from Tenerife. I just wanted to take a quick look and see what his involvement um, is in Jay's disappearance. So again, these are my voodoo cards. Um, I will tell you what they are in regular tarot, give you the meaning, and then tell you my interpretation. So this card here, Petro Urzuli La Flambeau, is the Seven of Wands in regular tarot. Um, it stands for emotions, the planet Venus, um, forceful and decisive action in the matter at hand, bringing to bear the full force of emotional involvement in the situation, swift emotional ordeals leading to a refinement of personality or spiritual essence, rage, persons united by anger. And this card, Rada Hoonsis, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm definitely not saying that correctly, but it's the Princess of Discs. It's, it represents a young woman with light brown or brownish black hair and light or brown eyes, wisdom and handling of material affairs, ability to translate dreams into physical reality, firmness, and aggressive. So basically, um, these two cards um, represent to me um, defending Lucy, like this card is Lucy. This is her doing, I'd like to say that. Um, and he's basically protecting her. I feel like he is incredibly angry with her. Um, and I basically feel like it was a it's a matter of, you know, going along with the ride, kind of like being in the wrong place at the wrong time sort of deal, like bad luck of the draw. You know what I'm saying? Wild card Le Baron. This was came out in my last reading um, about Lucy, if you guys want to check it it out i just want to also say this is all alleged it's not facts um le barrel um it means unexpected change extreme unexpected turn of events a sense of humor pulls one through dire circumstances and this card is dance is the chariot and regular tarot and it stands for transcendence of a situation through ecstatic physical action, triumph, victory, constructive or destructive adherence to a set forms of action. So to me, this card represents when um, Jay started to um, get chased for what he had done, which is stealing, um, he knew about it. That's basically the energy that's coming through here. It's just he knew what was happening. And then this card with Magic Mirror is the moon in regular tarot. And it stands for magic, sorcery, occult power, and deception. Um, in this circumstance, I believe this is um, this stands for deception for this reading. And then this Radha Dambala Widu is the ace of swords in regular tarot and it means underlying or root powers the creator great energy called to do good or ill stationary forces are roused and called into action so to me this these two cards are just the decision to hide what has happened so he knows that jay's in trouble he makes the decision to keep it hidden. And this card, Radha Nanan Buklo, is the two of swords in regular tarot. It means protection, movement, change, mutual benefit based upon the experience of and devotion to the grandmother. And then this card, Congo Mambu, is a woman with black or brown hair with a golden hue and brown or blue eyes dreamy and tranquil personality which tends to express itself poetically so this is just 
I'm choosing to hide this because it is in my best interest. Whoever Jay pissed off, I feel like is dangerous. And um, if he and Lucy were to fully come clean about what has happened, I definitely believe their lives would be in danger. So mutual benefit, right? Um, it's in their best interest to stay quiet if they value um, their lives. So basically a lot of this is just protecting her because I don't think that he had anything to do with what has happened. I really don't. He's keeping it a secret, but I don't think, I think this is all Lucy and Jay putting their heads together and coming up with a stupid plan. Um, and this card is the death card, Le Mort. And it means death, transformation, change, flux, messages from the dead in particular, from the questioner's ancestors, probable need to make offerings to the ancestors. So again, I feel like they know that Jay is deceased. And they know why he's deceased. But as far as the diabolical plan um, to steal, that was all Jay and Lucy. I think this guy was just, again, in the wrong place at the wrong time, put into a position where he had to make a decision. What is he going to do? He's chosen to keep it a secret because coming clean um, puts him and Lucy in serious, serious danger. Um, so that's the end of this reading. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.